Good morning. Good morning. How are you today, Benny? Good. Are you excited for this new day? Mm -hmm. Is it the day that the Lord has made? Mm -hmm. Should we rejoice and be glad in it? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Say happy day, everybody. Happy day, everybody. <laughs> Oh, beloved of God, welcome to a time just to share God's word together today, following Christ in our home as we read together John 7. It's a little longer of a passage today, so let's get started. John 7, verse 25. Read along if you'd like in your Bible or listen in devotion this morning. Now, some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, is not this the man whom they are trying to kill? And here he is speaking openly. But they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from. But when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me, and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. Yet many in the crowd believed in him and were saying, When the Messiah comes, will he do more signs than this man has done? The Pharisees heard the crowd muttering such things about him, and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent temple police to arrest him. Jesus then said, I will be with you a little long, while longer, and when I am going and when I am going to him who sent me, you will search for me, but you will not find me, and where I am you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Where does this man intend to go that we will not find him? Does he intend to go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? What does he mean by saying, You will search for me? And you will not and you will not find me, and where I am you cannot come. Word of God, word of life, may it be so for you this day as you dwell in God's word along the journey. Be invited to hear a devotion now, read along from Christ in our home if you have it there, titled Christian Courage Today, inviting our focus to that twenty ninth verse of that story. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. Jesus words about God, Father. Jesus knew the Jewish authorities were plotting to arrest him and have him killed. Surely it took courage to stand in the temple daily, preaching God's love for all. Jesus was doing this father, his Father's will in a dangerous time and place. Confidence that we follow this Jesus as Messiah can also empower us to act courageously in love for our neighbors. I saw such great Christian courage in the staff of Beacon Neighborhood House, a Presbyterian mission in Chicago. In 1962, I was one of 13 college volunteers who lived and worked there with children and families experiencing poverty. Each day we taught vacation Bible school, tutored, and took the kids on public transportation for field trips throughout the city. At night, we slept there, locked, uh, behind locked iron gates. I admired and still remember Reverend Ryan Day, Ray Day the soft-spoken pastor who lived nearby with his wife and seven children. Every day he quietly modeled Christian leadership, service, and courage for all of us. The invitation to pray here together this morning. Lord Jesus, grant courage to those who follow in your footsteps of care and compassion. Amen. And as this day of faith unfolds before you, be invited to join in prayer uh, and focus some of those prayers toward inner city churches, pastors, and staff. God bless you, beloved, on your continued journey as we continue to dwell in and share God's word with the world.